Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So we have a special guest today. <laughs> it's my boyfriend. Yo. Slash baby daddy. <laughs> just couldn't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're doing a um, relationship Q and A. Cause you know. That's what this is? Yeah. Oh. What did you think <laughs> it was? Oh. No, that's cool, come on. Um, so you know, we've been dating for seven years almost. Se <laughs> no, it's almost eight. It's seven and a half. Eight. Yeah. Uh -huh. Seven and a half years, but you all probably don't know about Alvin because he doesn't claim me. So <laughs> You all over my page, my everything, all my posts and everything, every all the time. So we have a, like questions from people that um, wanted to know um, stuff about us. So we're gonna go ahead and answer them. Ready for this? Mm, I get, yep. Okay. All right. The first question is what are, what is our favorite anime character? Uh, if not from My Hero Academia. <laughs> no, that's not your favorite character. I already know your favorite character. Who? Coral Sensei. <laughs> no, we so well. Coral Sensei from Assassination Classroom is like my favorite of uh, the anime character besides Todoroki. I think it's Killua from Hunter X from Hunter x Hunter. Probably. It's Killua. For people who don't watch anime. The real goat. I need we need a poster on one of his portraits. Killua is raw. He better than Bakugo. And she ain't even see the Chimera and Arc yet, so do you guys ever need space? <laughs> you go ahead and answer since this question is just so... I mean, that's what everybody... She just think I'm a villain because I'm a regular person who needs like five seconds in another room. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you need space. I, um... I like being home alone. Just not. I don't like being home alone like at night because that's terrifying. I start hearing shit. But like... <laughs> I do not like being home alone at night. But I feel like there's anybody. Like, you start hearing stuff at night. But during the like day. Like a child. <laughs> but during the day, I don't mind it. It's, like, pretty cool. I, like, blast Beyonce on in our living room. I watch Homecoming when he's not here. Did you all plan to have the little baby or was it spontaneous? So, was she planning or was she an accident? <laughs> it's not an accident. It was a... A known possibility surprise. I feel like is that a good description? Spontaneous. It's, it's good timing. AF. Huge surprise. Totally unexpected. Why you gotta sound so depressed? Like, damn. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna happen. You know, total what surprise. <laughs> Not planned at all. I hate it here. She gonna see this video one day. So, okay, no, like. I always wanted you. <laughs> She out. She always called you a boy, and I was like, "Stop playing with my daughter!" Like, and then whoop, it's a girl. So I knew it the whole time. She was calling you Alvin, Julian. It's oh my okay gosh. though. I still love you. Who's carrying you though? Who had faith in you? Okay. It was a surprise to me. I cried when I took the pregnancy test. I was happy. Yeah, he was ecstatic. I was like shocked and then I got happy. Who's about to spoil the baby more? I feel like she gonna spoil the baby with clothes and gifts and I'm gonna spoil the baby with like just like playing with him nonstop. Let them do what they want. So I'm not gonna play with my baby? I mean you gonna I didn't say you're not gonna play with him. I just I don't know. I, I just play around a lot, so I feel like the baby gonna be so used to that. You know? I ain't I, saying you ain't gonna play with the baby. I don't know. I feel like if she was to ask Alvin for anything, like, Daddy, can you buy me this toy? Or Daddy, can you buy yeah. me this? Yada, yada. He ain't never gonna say no. I wanna take, like, go on a lot of family vacations to, like, Disney World. We already talked about taking her to Wisconsin Dells. Like taking uh, a trip as like to Wisconsin Dales first when she's like two, cause it's not it's not it's not uh, super expensive and it's like just fun. I like to I like to travel a lot and I like to go places. So she will always be some place 
So yeah, like I still want to. I feel like that's with everything. I still want to spoil them, but I I still want them to work for the stuff. Yeah, let them know it, it ain't sweet. Like yeah, y'all have to do something. Cause we worked for all of this. Okay. Work my ass off. <laughs> Okay, next question. What are you guys most excited about for when the baby girl is here? Just being able to like play with her and stuff. <laughs> like, I feel like all that interaction with the with a baby and like them growing up mean a lot. Like that's gonna be their childhood memories of like having good times instead of, you know, going through some traumatics, whatever. Um, I'm most excited for the cuddles. Especially because, like, since I'm, like, the, <laughs> what? <laughs> since I'm the mom, like, I'll be doing, like, the a lot of, like, the skin-to-skin -skin contact with, like, breast, breastfeeding and stuff. And I love the way babies smell. Babies smell so good. So, like, I'll have my own baby. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to the basketball court. Show how to post up. No. The doctor said she was kind of long for her age, so I'm, like. For her age? She well, even... uh, 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 for, for six months is what they said. She said she was kind of big for six months or long or something. So instantly you got to learn how to back to the basket, post up. Mm. Little dream shape. Oh, you going to treat her like a dog because you already be trying to dress a me dog? up. Drop dog? Dog. Oh. Because <laughs> you already be trying to dress me up. I'd be like, gee, I'm grown to see how I could put on, I could dress myself like. I, I'm so you excited. need a, you need to be able to dress her to get all that out and all that off of me. Just I'm really excited to uh, dress her. I already bought her a dress yesterday. It was on sale. Um, Just gonna you know, hang it up on my side of the closet. All this black hoodies I... and shit. Then it's a little rainbow dress. Man, you <laughs> funny as hell. I'm so excited to dress her, and she's gonna be born hopefully on Halloween. So by the time Christmas comes, she won't look like a raisin no more. She'll like be like. I'm calling my baby no <laughs> You know how babies have to like when they first born, you know, they like yeah. but by the time Christmas comes around, she'll be like, um, you know I get it. Develop. Yeah, so like Christmas I already have like a dress for her. Tell us how the <laughs> tell us how the F y'all been dealing with each other for so long. Woo! You don't that's what happened. You don't deal with each other. <laughs> you just I mean, we be having fun, though. Yeah. It's just... Um. It's just a lot. <laughs> I do I put up. I always told Alvin if we... She put up with me because I'm tall. Oh, God. It's not true. I'm over six feet. That's why. That's not true. That's why she put up with me. <laughs> it is not true. I feel like I already told Alvin if we don't work out, I'm never getting in another relationship. You say that, but you don't let us not work out. Like, your ass, <laughs> Bob the Builder. We no, gonna fix this, no, honey. Look, no, uh, don't say uh, that like you don't want to be in this relationship. I ain't saying that, but I'm just saying, your ass be putting duct tape on the, like... All right, y'all, this relationship is fake. I'm forcing Alvin to be in it. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you quick to repair. I'm not saying you... I don't want to be here. I'm just... You know, I'm just saying that. That ain't... That's good, though. Because we balance each other out like that. Okay, Alvin. It's a... What? Okay. You're always offended, see? I ain't say nothing. I'm just listening to you. Mm -hmm. I'm just listening to you, so... Y'all shouldn't have asked that. <laughs> to answer the question, he barely put up with me. Give us some relationship advice. Give each other space. <laughs> just, I don't want to send nobody off. It's okay. I mean, you've been doing something, right? <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, How we ended that, up in this situation. That helps. You know. What helps? <laughs> oh, you're gross. Let me give a relationship advice and see if he gets the idea. I think the thing that, like, a lot of people do and, like, I feel like that we do in the pattern that I've been realizing it is, like, like i want to say of course it's communication but i'm going to like break that down a little bit because everybody just say communication and then just leave it at that but like you you would be mad at some you would be mad at your partner at something and then you would think why they're mad is why they're mad and they would be mad about something completely different oh i feel like that just applied to so much stuff see 
you'll think your partner is mad about this, but they're actually mad about this. So I think like actually understanding like what um I got my license. Okay. Like what what the person is actually upset about because nine times out of ten I'm like we'll be like, Oh, I didn't know that's why you were upset and then all of that extraness and being mad at each other was for no reason because you didn't know that's why they were upset. So you just assumed that they were upset for that reason and then you'd be like see all of that wasn't even worth it because i didn't know that's why you was upset that could have been squashed our relationship advice is effective communication because a lot of communication people think they being helpful about communicating but really you just running in circles one person say one thing and then the other person say something and you just go back and forth doing that same thing but you need to communicate so that that person understand what you said then they send it back to you on their input and you end up getting somewhat rather than just running in circles so effective communication probably so does that mean like listening to each other yeah and like actually getting to uh, understand us or at least agree to disagree don't just keep repeating the same thing that's a thing. big one agree to disagree you don't have yeah. to agree all the, Everybody, all the time yeah like we not the same you can't expect to be the same person in every thought it's just not gonna work like that you gotta be cool with that or you're just gonna be arguing about all that stuff very good bro. Ooh, I'm, I'm uh what's his name dr phil or something. <laughs> what was your first impression about your partner i don't know she was uh i just like talking to her i guess like we had little exchanges in the hallway and like we had a couple classes together so we was just talking and i felt like one of the things i noticed at first is like when you talk to people sometimes you just talking but i felt like when i was talking to her like she was really focused on what i was saying and like getting back to me instead of just oh yeah whatever that type of that type of talk is like eh. uh my first impression I don't know. I don't want to offend nobody that go to Kenwood in this video. <laughs> in the whole video. <laughs> right. And a uh, couple Hirsch. Huh? A couple Hirsch Huskies. Right. <laughs> I don't want to offend nobody that go to Hirsch or especially St Hirsch. Stupid ass. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. Because it's some real. Don't do that. There's some real hitters at Hirsch. Talk about hitters. Ugh. Funny as well, so definitely don't want to offend nobody that go to Hirsch or went to Hirsch. Stop, stop. <laughs> Specifically at Kenwood, because that's where I was seventh through uh, seventh grade through high school. Well, I don't know at Kenwood. It was just like a lot of like dudes who were like hoes, and it was Fuck just boys. <laughs> yeah, and like they were just Alvin was just different. Like he just transferred in. I was popular. I was popular, so I knew everybody. So when I saw him in English class, I was like. He's new. No, as a predator. <laughs> uh, I just noticed that he was like real chill. Um, he was quiet. A lot of dudes at Kenwood made a lot of noise, if you know what I mean. Because I ain't fuck with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. uh, what really got me was he went straight home every day after school. Not at, no, I went to go hoop and shit. He went to hoop, but he went to go hoop with his friends at Hirsch. He did not stay <laughs> at Kenwood. Like, he would go <laughs> home. And if you ever went to Kenwood, you know you, like, usually I hung. I lost my roots. <laughs> <laughs> and if you went to Kenwood, you usually hung around the school. You hung around, like, high park. Hard. You ain't never just go straight that, that's home. That's not my teammates, man. I got a hoop with my teammates. So, like we got <laughs> we out of out with how we play. We and you know, like Kenwood is like very social, butterfly ish. So like when he was quiet and he ain't really talked to nobody, and he was going straight home after school or going back to go see his old friends at Hirsch, I was just like, hmm. So he not entertaining nobody. I see. You know, how like, you know who I was entertaining? I wasn't entertaining nobody, but just you just saying it like he you ain't talking to nobody. You don't know, how you know? Okay, so you were talking to other people. No, I wasn't, but you just made it seem like I'm weak or something. Like nigga ain't talking to nobody. Okay. <laughs> what was the best moment in your relationship so far? Ooh, y'all getting personal. This one. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is pretty exciting. I never had a kid before, so <laughs> I always wonder when I was younger, like, 
like when I was just like watching my parents raise me, I was like, I'm gonna have to do that for somebody else one day. That's crazy. And now it's two months away, so. Well, it already started, but you know. I feel like every moment with you. <laughs> I feel like it's just like we keep elevating. So like at first for me, it was like prom. Then it was like, then it was like, um, our seven year anniversary and then it was how you go from prom to seven year anniversary because <laughs> it's gaps you funny as and then it was like getting our apartment now it's like our oh uh, yeah getting the apartment that was oh ooh, i was so ready to get my own place y'all don't understand he wanted this apartment more than i did like so bad don't do that because you was over there no i, I talking your no shit. like i did want this apartment like really bad but like i wanted it like 100 percent bad and you like wanted it 150 percent bad i'll take that yeah um but and then like the next like best moment would like be when we found when, when we found out i was a girl um but like i feel like the best moment hasn't happened yet is when she's actually born like I think for me, like that's gonna be like the tip, the top, like pinnacle, the peak, the, the peak. Talk about the tip. <laughs> that's how you got it. See? Oh lord, that's where your man go. I hope my mom don't watch this. Do you trust each other? I feel like that's easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I never like really had to worry about anything with him. And like, don't get me wrong, like. Every relationship has problems, but I am so glad that trust is not one of our problems because that... We joke about it so much, but we don't really be meaning nothing to it. Yeah. Okay, so what makes you happier in a relationship, sharing or sacrificing? Well, of course, sharing is happy because you could... It's like if you like something and you could share it with somebody else and they appreciate that too, that's cool. cool. What you think? Mm, I feel like we're getting better at the sacrificing part. I think he's done a lot of sharing with me. And not like sharing as in like food or stuff like that. But like, like one point when I was like in school and I like needed to live closer to my school because I did not have the money to take a $7 one way to school every day. So like he literally like shared his room. I like opened up his room for me, which was like real, real small. Don't do that. No, you, like you I'm, real, real small. But I'm just saying, like it's yeah, a lot of that. it's a lot of people that would have been like, "Boy, my room small is already. I'm not gonna have you moving here with me." Oh uh, yeah, I mean, like why would I not? Because there's a lot of people in relationships who wouldn't do that. I feel like we more comfortable around each other then. Yeah. Cause it just cause of like how long. It's yeah. Been. Even back then, I felt like. Yeah, he shared a lot with me, honestly. Like, yeah. not like as far as like space and his belongings and stuff. When it comes to your future, do you and your partner have the same relationship goal? Yeah, I don't feel like I feel like if we didn't, it, this would be an uncomfortable thing to talk about, and we'll freeze up. But I don't think so. So, yeah. What's your goal? You just want me to say something mushy. What's your goal? I'm just asking. What's your goal? To have a big happy family that's long term like in short that's soon we short, already working on it short term in the, in the next year to be raised in a healthy baby that's it <laughs> as a with my spouse <laughs> spouse you just couldn't wait. I didn't, this is my first time hearing him say that. You just, can we go to the next <laughs> whatever? Because you just, I know you was going to use this opportunity to do You want me to be your spouse one day? I'm so honored. Spouse. What are some annoying habits of your partner that irritates you the most? Where do we begin? Oh, gosh. The teeth sucking that you do. Stop. See, that shit is just... That's so stupid and pointless. Like, why are you sitting there smacking your teeth that loud? Like, that was quiet, but you be, can you sound like you be I doing it loud? I was, see, I, I was get just it, though. showing them. We get it. You I, did been, it I don't know if they could hear it. I was just showing them. It's just so dumb. Like, just get a, she, we got toothpicks and she always be thirsty to get a toothpick, but she'll sit there and suck her teeth loud as hell for no reason. I'm just like. I hate. Absolutely. <laughs> hate. 
when he uses the bathroom with the door open, <laughs> even if it's number one or number two, close the door. I don't like, like he I don't like hearing it. Just like I don't hear, like hearing your teeth. See? Now you know how much I don't I But it's natural. Everybody in their mama takes a shit. I don't like hearing it. Everybody, I don't you care. don't have to suck I don't your care. teeth to live. I don't care if I hear Beyonce doing nah, number you two. Listen. <laughs> but like I like I don't like hearing people use the bet like especially a number two. <laughs> like I just Ooh. Oh my god. You're gosh. supposed to sound proud of like, the, of the I, splash that I made. know. Okay, last question. I think this is a cute mushy question. What were or what do you remember were the first words that I said to you? That's kind of If it's a bad question, just let me know. That's kind of impossible to know. <laughs> I know. So, we <laughs> The first time I saw Alvin was in English class, in Michelle Lewis English class. <laughs> and he had no hair. Don't do that. You know? <laughs> you stay disrespectful. No hair down here, no hair here. He was bald. I put all up these a picture. details needed. I wasn't bald. I just had a low cut. I put like, up a picture. You don't got to put nothing up. <laughs> so. Let's talk about how you look with your little short uh, door to explore. You're so bogus. <laughs> Gee, everybody in high school had their hair tucked behind their ear and it stopped right That shit was Dora, the explorer. We had a substitute in English class and it was a seat in front of me empty. And I think it was an assignment where we had to work together. And so Alvin came and sat in front of me because everybody, you know, when you have a sub, you don't sit, you go sit by your friends or whatever. Like you don't sit by, um what you supposed to say so, yeah so he sat in front of me and tyranny was like diagonal from me and next to him and so <laughs> i was starting to remember yeah <laughs> and so That's funny. he's a great he was he's a great ahead of me so at the time he was a junior and i was a sophomore because that's when we met i was a sophomore he was a junior and um tyranny had act we me and tyranny were talking about prom because tyranny was in the same grade as him and tyranny was like so Alvin, who are you finna take the prom? And I didn't know who he was. Like, I just he just sat in front of me. I'm like, oh, this is just a random guy in class that I ain't never spoke to before. He turned around and he was like, to, and pointed at me. And I looked up like, like I was writing. <laughs> and I looked up like, <laughs> um, and I wasn't the like I wasn't ugly in high school, but I wasn't like a showstopper, you, you know. So like when he when he pointed at me, I That's was just like potential. <laughs> so that was the first interaction, and then the second one <laughs> is when I was really like. That's not a part of the question, but I want to say it anyway. So I didn't know I had two periods with him. It was. English and gym. He had came and sat next to me in gym class. And I was like, oh, I didn't know you had this gym period, yada, yada, yada. And then look, tell them how you forgot what my name was. <laughs> I mean, Maria Mariah, pretty sound. He has, to ask my, he has to ask my friend at the time what my name was, but he's because he forgot we, it. Like, we barely knew each other. Like, is it that deep? So, yeah, we, like, later that day, I saw we had gym together. And I'm like, oh, you that guy from my English class. Hey, I have gym with you. And then from there, we just, now we have a baby. So watch who you talk to. Oh, my gosh. you might end up pregnant. <laughs> Let me tell y'all how he forced me in this relationship. Nah, nah, I forced her for we... a relationship that she wanted so bad. <laughs> Let's be real. Don't flatter yourself. Let's be real. Don't. Because I just. Don't want to lie. I just affirmed what you wanted and expected and was hoping for. So don't act like I forced you and you ain't want to be with me because you was dying for me to say something and you was just waiting. And, like, don't even stun you. He came and sat by me and then he put his arm around my shoulder and like we were talking and stuff. And my friend walked back up. Gee, you going step by step by step. By My step. friend walked back up and she was like, so what are you all? And so I looked at his arm was around my shoulder. We were sitting on the bleachers and she was like, so are you all like? And then I looked at him like. 
You was looking at me like, say it, nigga. That's what you was looking at me. I'm, I didn't know what we were. Like, he just came over to the bleachers. This was like three oh, weeks. Are you talking to somebody you told? That's you. This was after. We had went on a date after this, I think. Yeah, we went on a date after this. Uh, he was like, yeah, this my girl. And I was just like, in my head, oh, I'm his girl. Like, <laughs> Is you his? <laughs> I'm like... Is you his? After he said that, I went and uh, we went on a date to Pop. She, she couldn't wait because that's all she ever wanted to do is go on dates all day, every day. Let's go on a date. Let's go on a date. I'm like, Jesus Christ. We went on a date to Pop Pop Billy in High Park and we went to Baskin Robbins. We walked around High Park and then ever since then we've just been two peas in a pod. You don't look so happy. Gosh. I'm tired, man. I'm sorry. Jeez. <laughs> two peas in a pod. So yeah, like that's how we came together. And now our we finna have a baby girl and more. Yeah. Become spouses. So, thank you all for all the questions. We'll probably do another one of these. I don't know when. Wow. Maybe. Um, we gonna be busy with the baby. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like this- She gonna be in the back. <laughs> yeah. Look, we gonna be holding the baby like, see, this is the baby that we were talking about in the last video. <laughs> thank y'all for watching. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe. Or I'm gonna yeah. beat you up. If you ain't subscribed <laughs> and like this video for like it, thumbs up, thumbs up it. Any last words? You were great. Thank you. I know. You were great. I yeah. get that a lot. You were great. Uh, <laughs> this was a nice video. <laughs> what are you doing? I was just, this is not, I was giving you a hug. This is oh, just a nice video. You giving me a hug? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I can't Wait, twist your arm down. I can't twist too much. You need this weird ass hug. Like, what the fuck, G? This is us being loving. Uh, All right. I just knew that a bunch of goofy shit was going to happen. Like, what is this? You couldn't wait to get this shot. Time to go to bed.